Hi, welcome to Life Expressions. I'm your host, Chadi Hinati Elon. Fear, worry, and stress are normal responses to perceived or real threats and when we are faced with the uncertainty or the unknown. So it is normal and understandable that people are experiencing fear, anxiety, and even depression in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, added to the fear of contracting the virus and of course, the significant changes in our lifestyle, the loss of livelihood, the loss of physical contact, and the growth of interpersonal relationship because we are social beings, it is important to take care of our mental as well as physical health. And so today we are going to talk about mental health. My guest in this episode is a lifestyle columnist of DigiCast Negros, a member of Toastmasters International. She has a bachelor's degree in psychology. She finished her academic course in Master of Arts in Conflict Resolution, former chapter executive manager of Philippine Mental Health Association Bacolod, currently working at Hope Volunteers Foundation Incorporated as program director and a longtime mental health advocate. My friend, Rose Jessica Jet Octaviano. Hi, Jet. Hi, Cherry. Thank you very much for inviting me in your new program. With me. How are you? I'm good. I'm settling down, adjusted to the pandemic. Life goes on. That is true. Can you say, yeah. Jet, I've mentioned earlier that there are many uh, causes for people to feel anxious, sometimes to feel depressed, and these are mental health issues. Can you say yeah. that there are more cases of mental illness now brought about by COVID-19? Uh, definitely. I agree with you. The, you know, here in the Philippines, I, by the way, I'm in the Philippines, the, the National Center for Mental Health in Manila, they have a hotline. And uh, before pre-pandemic, they would get about 80 calls per month. But yeah. since the pandemic, they're getting about 800 calls. Wow. Can you believe that? Yes, from yeah. 80 to, 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 you know, it's, it's more than double, triple. <laughs> yes. Yes. But that is because of the change in the lifestyle that we have, yeah. we get to go if, out, if we, the homeschooling, etc. If we, if we recall, uh, the, the first time we had this pandemic, uh, everybody was uh, was asked to stay home. Remember, yeah. it, it was ECQ, yeah. and uh, people, like students would not go to school anymore, and they would have uh, classes online. Yes. And actually, in the beginning, it wasn't even online yet. It was like we we stopped working. We 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 did absolutely nothing. It's a lockdown. Stay at home, and then eventually yeah. later on. Um, we were able to 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 do it with Zoom and uh, a Google Meet. You know, everything was online. Yeah. And kids, you know, kids are kids. They want to be out with their friends at their age. Usually, uh, friends are more important than families. And um, you know, uh, so there's like the peers are important. So it's hard to to be not with them. Yeah. So cabin fever was. Um, what happened no people are like oh no what are we going to do there i'm bored and then some people would uh, they don't want to be alone because most of the time they're they're just in their rooms studying or doing ho homeworks that and um, some people who are already expressed uh, who already has anxiety disorders or are very fearful always worry you know it yeah. added to it added yeah. to what you were feeling yeah. so yeah. So yes, and I've we've heard so many people already. You know, they 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 try to kill themselves. They 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 uh, they they have uh, phobias. Everything stress was um, some people was, have suicidal thoughts as well. Yeah, right? already, and even yeah. there were already some cases. Yeah, some cases yeah. that we've heard, and um, of course depression was there too. Um, they cannot cope with all this. Um, anxieties around mm -hmm. you, know, you you become afraid you don't want to touch anything you don't want to go out because the for fear that uh, a virus is in <laughs> around you know mm -hmm. so it, it so it was really it's really bad but mm -hmm. I, I think eventually you know how people are very resilient yeah. we eventually accepted uh, mm -hmm. the, the new normal they call yeah. it the new normal but there are still some people who who still experience this uh, sadness feeling helpless you know feeling unworthy yeah. and uh, fear fearful usually the fears are 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 great you know yeah. so yeah the pandemic is really affecting us there yeah. are even some talks that you know uh, after the the you know that this covid-19 pandemic mm -hmm. the next phase would be mental health 
Or yeah. Because almost everyone is affected. Correct. So what can you say is the most prevalent mental health issue these days? Yes. As I have mentioned earlier, stress mm -hmm. definitely has increased yeah. the feeling of stress. Yeah. And then some people develop that into having um, anxiety disorders or yeah. being depressed. Mm -hmm. And um, it started out with having cabin fever, you know, and uh, uh, fears you're being paranoid yeah. about uh, what's happening around. Mm -hmm. So those are the, um, the issues. Yeah. And when um, can you say that you already have an anxiety disorder? Well, anxiety, if you, um, if we describe it, if we define it, you know, mm -hmm. it's our body's natural alarm to, to, it's our natural response to changes. Like for example, uh, threats were being threatened. We are afraid, we are worrying. Yeah. Um, so it's, um, it's, uh, it's being anxious. Yeah. Being afraid of something. Sometimes we cannot even understand what we are afraid of. Mm -hmm. What we are worried about, you know, there's a palpitation of the heartbeat. Uh, there's a lot of um, anxiety. Yeah, we, we, we've heard of panic attacks, you know, like you feel like there's a big stone in your, in your throat that you cannot breathe. Yeah. So those are examples of uh, anxiety disorders. It's because you are afraid of something that is, we, we, don't, we don't know, we don't understand, of the unknown. Yes. And this COVID uh, virus has brought up this, uh, this fears. Yeah. You know, because we don't know what we'll do. Uh, and in the beginning, we didn't even have uh, vaccines. So it's unknown. Yes, yeah. that's so that's, uh, and among teens, depression is also very common. Yes, because we, um, we believe, you know, uh, people tend to think that uh, the depression or any other mental disorders only happens in adults. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's not true because we have mm -hmm. cases as young as eight years old. Yeah. And uh, they have, uh, but sometimes we we just see it as oh they're just being naughty or you know they're they're just a child so um they're in a bad mood but actually they, they may be experiencing anxiety problems mm -hmm. yes so yeah depression can happen to anyone mm -hmm. and again it's uh, it's not just about sadness because they people most people think or many people think that mm -hmm. depression is just being sad yeah but actually it could also be feeling unworthy, you know, feeling hopeless, yeah. helpless. And then there will be times when you just woke up, but you're already tired. Yeah, you're feeling or, unmotivated. Yeah, uh, right? unmotivated, uh, discouraged, yeah. everything negative. Like um, yeah. you cannot sleep or you want you just want to sleep because when you go to sleep, you, you won't think of any yeah. problems. Yes, you won't is. eat or you want you just want to eat, yeah. you know, and... The dream um, of the things that you're not doing before you want to do, yeah. or perhaps the thing before when you are full of energy and suddenly you're tired you know, of energy all the time. Like, yeah. And uh, there are also people who like certain things and then lately they don't like it anymore. Like yeah. it, even yeah. as simple as going to the mall or even just brushing your teeth. Oh, oh it yeah. could be something very heavy for them already. Yeah. They just want to to stay in bed and then just think of uh, negative things. Yes. So, so how that's... should we address these mental health issues, Jet? Well, well, for no, first of all, we need to understand what is mental health is all about. No? Yeah. Um, actually, if we basically think it, what is mental health is really about ourselves. It's yeah. about our the way we see see things, the way we relate with other people in making decisions. So mm -hmm. we should understand what mental health is. Mm -hmm. um, some people would think that it is just having a mental disorder, but that's not it. It's really about our full potentials. It's about our resiliency, yeah. our ability to move on after certain painful experiences. Mm -hmm. And just like this new normal, uh, there is nothing we can do. We just have to accept it. Yeah. Like, you know, wearing masks, are, it's hard. You cannot breathe, but, but it's something to protect ourselves and yeah. most especially in protecting other people. So we just have to accept it. Yeah. So that's part of mental health, understanding, mm -hmm. um, making decisions, stress management. Yeah. And we need to learn and understand about it. And if you are feeling all these um, symptoms and you have signs, it's something to accept. Yeah. There, uh, there's stigma. There's stigma that comes with mental health. And, um, you know, if I, I recall stories when, when people or families have, let's say, someone with a mental disorder, they, they lock them. Yeah. They're like prisoners of their wounds. So that's not nice because there's stigma. Yes. So what we'll do, we'll learn about it. We understand it. We acknowledge it. Yes. And, and we should accept it. And 
And if we have family members who ha who has it, we should support them. Yes. Yeah, support them, you know, um, and definitely uh, I, this is my, this is really my thing. I, I, I invite you to become champions for mental health. Mm -hmm. We should advocate about it. Let's tell the people, tell everyone that, you know, mental health is not something to be, to, to keep quiet about. It's mm -hmm. something to share. It's something mm -hmm. to, to tell people that it's okay mm -hmm. to be not okay. Yeah. It is okay to ask for help. And uh, asking help is not bad. It's not being weak, you know. No. Some or it's not being, you know. There's there's stigma. So, yeah. so it's okay. Yeah. In fact, asking for help is a brave thing to do because that's the okay. first the first thing that you do when you ask for help is that you accept that you are yes. feeling that uh, okay. something that, that yes. you feel that there is something wrong with the way you think, or perhaps there is something different already with the usual things that you do and feel and think. Yeah, because again, uh, mental health if, uh, is also, it's the way we think, we act yeah. in any given situation, you know, yeah. and everything is a situation. Yeah. And on the other hand, mental disorders, again, is a, is a medical condition. Yeah. I also would like to emphasize that it's a medical condition. So that means it could be prevented it could be managed, yeah. it could be treated. Yes. Some cases are, you take medications, of course, only a psychiatrist or a medical doctor will, will give you a med medicines. Yeah. And some people can take it for six months and they're okay. Yeah. But then some will, might need more than six months, maybe forever, like maintenance, they get the maintenance, like mm -hmm. diabetes. Yeah. High blood. We have maintenance medicines, right? So it's possible that you will also get me. Uh, you will also take medicines forever. Yeah. So again, it's a medical condition. That's really the important thing, and um, it affects our our brain, which yeah. is one of the most important organs of the body, right? Yes. Yes. That is true. Yeah. And so, but there are initiatives out there, like with yourself and with your group. There are initiatives to yes, definitely. Tell us about yes. this. Yes. Um, if you recall, friends, um, Cherry here mentioned that I was the executive manager of uh, Philippine Mental Health Association, and um, and PMHA is not here and in, not in Bacolod anymore. However, being a mental health advocate stayed with me. Yeah. So we could uh, even as an individual, uh, I I continued the uh, write ups. I write articles in newspapers. And um, I also give talks about yeah. mental health. I, not just mental health, stress management, anger management, all, all those related topics. Yeah. And um, we recently, mm -hmm. well, actually, we, there are a group of uh, millennials yeah. who, who came up with, um, with a group. It started mm -hmm. back in 2018 when four kids, well, I call them kids because I'm, <laughs> I'm like almost, well, I'm 50. And um, they were environmental advocates and during that time in 2018 there were reports of um of deaths by suicide yeah and they decided they were telling each other that you know we should also um, advocate for mental health it is yeah. a worthy another worthy cause mm -hmm. and they they put up uh, the leader steven he created a a group chat mm -hmm. where they will be able to raise awareness and eventually it it grew from four to 46, right now we have 46. And because of this pandemic, people were, we had a Facebook page. I was also part of it. I was just a lookout, like an advisor, yeah. like a tita. Yeah. And then eventually during this pandemic, people keep, a lot of people were already sending messages. Yeah. Like, what are, the, uh, what are we going to do? I have a friend who's, uh, who's trying to injure herself. Mm -hmm. And then, and, and you know, in that GC, we were able to lead them to where to go, and that child was saved, and oh, that's yeah. made them, uh, you know, that motivated them to continue yeah. doing uh, this this group, yeah. and eventually decided we should do more. Yeah. And Kapiot was born. Um, there was a core group meeting, and then there were six of us. I was also there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know what do what do we really want to do? And we were saying that um, this group were not psychologists. Yeah. Well, I am a psychology graduate, but I'm not licensed. Mm -hmm. But these kids, well, I call again, I call them kids. These chill, these kids, they're one is an engineer, yeah. one is a teacher, mm -hmm. another one is a financial mm -hmm. advisor, mm -hmm. and another one is a medical student. And some of them are like one of them works um, in different in areas, but not, mostly like 
not uh, related to mental health. Yeah. So they were saying that, what can we do? Yes, we can talk to them, but that's about it. Yeah. We can't do uh, counseling because we're not, again, we're not licensed. So what yeah. we'll do is we will bridge them. Yeah. We will bridge them. We will connect them to professionals, mm -hmm. to institutions or, or facilities, and we'll tell them where to go, what to do. So mm -hmm. that's why we were born, Kapyot. So kapyot is a Hiligaynon term. It means to hold on. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. We come on. We will hold your hand as we, we will hold your hand as we, we connect you to the professionals. So it's kapyot, bridging hands, saving lives. So it's a very new initiative, and uh, we had our first activity last uh, May first. Mm -hmm. We we did the the basics, mental yeah. health 101, the things mm -hmm. you need to know. Because uh, we feel that as mental health advocates, we should also understand mm -hmm. what is mental health. So we, we were live and then we were able to, to get views. Yes. So I, I'm not proud of this children. You know, they were, again, you know, it, um, you don't have to be a psychology oh, no. graduate. You yes. don't have to be a medical person yes. in order to be a champion for, for mental health. For mental health, yes. You have mentioned, of course, what mental health is, but what are the basic tips to have a better mental health? Well, I encourage self care. Mm -hmm. Self care is very important. Many people would think that, you know, self care is being selfish, but no, it is a must. It is something that we all need. It is something that uh, we deserve. No, mm -hmm. it, uh, it is something that we deserve. We deserve. It is something that we will do to prevent burnout. Yeah. To to prevent um, a, a medical uh, a mental disorder, and um, and also it you know it will re help rejuvenate our bodies. No, we yes. need to reflect ourselves because we if we especially if we want to help other people, mm -hmm. we also need to help ourselves. Yeah. And yeah. and there are many kinds of um, ways of self care. It could be physical, yeah. which is you know you do exercises, you sleep right. Uh, we we're, were supposed to sleep eight hours a day, mm -hmm. and um, you know uh, sleep, exercise, walking. Uh, it could also be social. We need we need our friends. Yeah. We need to talk to other people. So we need to have a support system. So yeah. that's social. Yeah. Uh, I'm it also is a believer, Jeff, of feeding your mind. Like when you yes. feed your mind with positive things, you watch what you watch. Mm -hmm. You you yes. mind what you read, what you feed your exactly. mind. That is also very important. I'm, I'm yes, and that's that. the yeah. that's the mental uh, mental self care. Yeah, you, you do a lot of readings. You work on puzzles. You, um, you know, again, you mentioned about reading. You know, sometimes you need to choose what we read about. Exactly. So, yeah. So it's a mental exercise. Yeah. Uh, there's also em emotional. We need to yeah. nurture our feelings. We should remember that feelings are not wrong. Yeah. What we feel is correct. We 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 feel angry. We can feel angry, but the important thing is that we know how to to express it. Yeah. Yes, we are angry. Mm -hmm. We can be angry, but make sure that you don't hurt yourself or other people. Yeah. yeah. It's okay to be sad. It's yeah. okay to be frustrated. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be definitely be joyful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but happy we should nurture our feelings by doing some hobbies, yeah. writing down how, what we feel, mm -hmm. like if we do journal writing, we practice um, gratitude, you know, there's always something to thank for. Mm -hmm. And um, stress management, of course. Mm -hmm. For spiritual, it's um, prayers, meditations, even being alone, yeah. you know, you feel that you need time for yourself, just maybe for 10 to 15 minutes, just maybe taking a nap, yeah. praying, nature tripping. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So self-care yes, is very important. important. I want to touch briefly on stress management because yes. stress actually leads to something deeper sometimes if you cannot yes. manage it, right? So how exactly. do you manage stress? Well, uh, I will uh, start on what you said that stress yes. managed, uh, being stressful can lead to, to anxiety, yes. to depression. So stress management is actually doing things that make you happy. However, uh, you don't need to uh, make it make make you happy, but you don't need to harm other people mm -hmm. or yourself. Yeah. So, like for example, you uh, what makes you happy? You want to drink a lot of 
let's say beer for let's say one <laughs> case of beer <laughs> for one night that's not good right yeah or uh, i have a funny um funny ex uh, I have a funny thing, you know, when I say another example, like what makes you happy? Someone makes you happy, this guy or this girl, and but they're married. Of course, that's not also good, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So stress management, do what makes you happy and everyone is different. So what makes me happy will not make you happy. Yeah. So I like, going, I, I like taking massages, but some people don't like it. Yeah. Right. So uh, some like to pray, some don't. It's okay. Some like to go to the mountains. Some some people just like to stay home. Yeah. It's really just, different yes. for everyone, right? There's, yes. There's no formula for for making people happy. Uh, what is important is what's within and yes. how how you manage whatever factors causes you stress. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. As long as it's again something positive, it is yeah. something healthy, yes. not harming other people, and it, especially not harming yourself. Yeah. So that's yeah. very important in stress management. Yeah, that is wonderful. Jet, even those things that you have mentioned, I think our listeners, our viewers here could relate to the importance of managing stress, of yes. self care, of taking good care of yourself and the people. Perhaps the people around you or the people in the household would also help in, yes. in taking care of each other and making sure and looking out for each other that you are all in in good shape, not just physically, of course, but I'm saying mentally and emotionally. Yes, definitely. That's why, uh, as mentioned earlier, that in self-care, social self-care is also important yes. because we need the family support. We yes. need friends to help yes. us out. Yes. Sometimes we even need our friends to help us decide in in major things yeah. or our families for that matter. Yeah. They're, they're very important. Yeah. You've yeah. mentioned stigma about mental illness and mental disorder. Yeah. How does our society or how do we uh, react to that? How should we stop the stigma? Well, well, definitely I'm sad about it because um, having a mental disorder is it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's again, it's a medical condition that means it could be anything. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong with having uh, a mental disorder. So that's why it's important to take out or break the stigma mm -hmm. by being able to learn about it, yeah. understand it, yes. and and what we said earlier, accept acceptance yeah. is a big key in yeah. mental health. Yeah. And you know, there are people that they already feel some, they experience a lot of pain, mm -hmm. and yet they still deny that the, they need to go to a doctor. Yeah. 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 I even talked to someone who mentioned about she didn't like the side effects of the medications, mm -hmm. but um, these medicines could be changed. Yeah. As long as you tell your doctor that, you know, this medicine doesn't work for me, this makes me. Um, it makes my stomach ache or, or it gives me headaches, your, your doctor will adjust the medication. So, you know, you can be helped. The thing is, the important is you will get better. You will improve that not to the point of being like in stage four, yeah. when you are already someone who is walking in this, walking around yeah. Bacolod or uh, in the streets. Yeah. And, you know, they can, you know, they can still understand. They can still, but uh, you're, you're like in the bad part and it, it will be hard to treat already. Yes. So, so honesty, your... acceptance, honesty with yourself, with your pain, mm -hmm. whatever you're feeling, that is important so that you can move yes. forward. Yeah. Thank you Definitely. so much, Jet. That is yes. very helpful. And you yes. are also with um, Hope Volunteer Foundation. And yes. uh, you are the program manager. Tell me about yeah, program this. director. Yes, program director. Yes. yes. Yeah, I also would like to share about Hope uh, Volunteers Foundation. It is not. It is related to mental health, but not yeah. really the main program because yeah. we are helping children mm -hmm. born with cleft palate yeah. or cleft lip, or sometimes even kids have both. So we basically organize with the help of Operation Smile and the province of Negros Occidental have um, reconstru free reconstructive surgery. Yeah. And after a few months, a few years, uh, when children with cleft palate, we, we tend to help them with their speech. So we have speech classes online. And well, of course, it's online right now. Yeah. So that's what that's um, hope for you. Yeah. We also give 
education, um, le uh, lear learning sessions to our parents, to the families on mental health oh. and also stress management. And, uh, you know, these kids tend to be bullied. Yeah, because sometimes right. they speak differently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they speak differently. They look uh, different. They have um, scars here or if they're not yet operated, they look like their lips are protruding and everything. So they get bullied a lot. And that is also related to mental health. So that's why we, we added, aside from our, our missions, like their free surgery, we yeah. give them talks. We make, uh, we make them build their self-confidence. Yeah. Because after all, they're also human and um, they, they are affected by these bullies. Yeah. Yeah. How we can make we help Hope Volunteer Foundation? Well, it, of course, you can help out by telling people about um, our programs. Mm -hmm. And well, <laughs> be honest about it. You can donate if you want. <laughs> yeah. we, we sometimes need um, items if, for the kids. We give them quarterly. We give them gifts. Mm -hmm. So lately, we have been giving them a lot of vitamins. About um, What else? We give them alcohol, face shields, face masks, and all those things, along with um, with something to... with few goodies like candies yes. and but I remember years many many years ago I remember former congresswoman Edith Vivian Rappel will bring in doctors who will conduct yes. the operation for children with cleft palate How yeah that's operation that smile happen? yeah operation smile yes How often you know, does that happen? It, it happens once a year but yeah. this during this pandemic last year we had to cancel it because uh, people cannot travel yeah. And you know how um, hospitals were very full, yeah. but what we but what we're planning this year is to do it um, probably by batches. Yeah. So people from other people, actually even people from Canada, from the United States, come here to help out with the Operation Smile. But mm -hmm. since we cannot do that, even yeah. our friends from Manila, they can't come here. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll do a local mission, mm -hmm. and this mission would be not usually in one Operation Smile. We'll have. 70 to 100 kids okay. but mm -hmm. what we can do is uh, maybe make them two at a time or yeah. by batches it has to be by batches mm -hmm. and i still have to talk to the hospital if they're uh, they will be willing to accept because as you know some of the hospitals are always full yeah that is and we, yeah and we need more um we need um, more budget because we need to pay for the protective gears mm -hmm. of the uh, of the doctors and also our children not to mention the swab test yeah. and, and all those things. So, things so are many just more difficult and more challenging yeah. nowadays. But we yeah, just but we, yeah, but we, we want to we, uh, we want to really make it happen this year because yeah. a lot of because of our public awareness, we already also have a Facebook page in in well in Facebook obviously. Mm -hmm. People are messaging us. They have children who were born. And even some places in Manila, they still message us and I would refer them to, you know, there's Operation Smile in Manila, but yes. however, they, they contact us mm -hmm. and there are already a number of parents who are willing to have their children operated. So there's really a need to, to do something yeah. for them, aside from the online classes, speech yeah. therapy. Oh, that's good yeah. to know that you keep on going and making sure that you still make sure to give the right service and the care for these children who have yeah. left palate, right? And that, that's also helping them adjust and cope with mental health. And Jenny, yes. if there's one thing that you would advise people to have better mental health, what would that be? Well, I always um, encourage self-care. Yeah. <laughs> that um, it's, um, it's something that we should do. And if it could also remember, it could also prevent uh, burnout. Yeah. And we don't want um, to, you know, you know, work will be there. And uh, when we work, it has to be, if you are scheduled from nine to five, let it be nine to five. Don't bring work at home. Uh, do, <laughs> we have to time for Sometimes rest. Sometimes we work from home. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see if we're here Nowadays from home. Nowadays we work from home. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We will yeah. have a designated time. That, true, uh, true. Work from home only from nine yeah. to three or nine to five. Exactly. But the rest of the time, it's time for you to read a book. To, yeah. to, to have extra sleep, yes. to do whatever makes you happy, that is, again, positive and healthy. Yes, right? it's true. Oh, it's true. And I would dare say, don't work in your bed. Because yes. that is for sleeping, don't work there. Because if you start doing that, oh, <laughs> it will just go downhill. <laughs> right? OK, 
Okay. So, Jed, it was really nice talking to you. And yes. thank you so much for sharing your thoughts about mental health and your advocacy. And uh, I truly hope that you will continue to do positive things. You are always very positive and you inspire a lot of people to promote mental health. So thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, and last one word. Sorry, sure. I have to add something else. Oh, sure. if, you, or if you, a listener or someone you know, is experiencing mental health problems or issues, please mm -hmm. don't hesitate to ask for help. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that um, there are hotlines all over the world, even in your country, in your mm -hmm. towns. Uh, there's always someone to help you. That is true. Okay? Yeah. That's very important. If you... Yeah. If, um, it's really very important. And if you're here in Bacolod, we can bridge you where to go, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the name of your Facebook page is? Capio. Ah, uh, Bacolod, no. It's Mental Health Advocates of Bacolod. Okay, Mental Health Advocates of Bacolod. Of Bacolod. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much. And congratulations on your initiatives. Yes, thank you. That's yeah. uh, the big bulk is from the kids. I'm yeah. so proud of them. Yeah. 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 So if we start really being honest about ourselves about our thoughts our pains our feelings it mm -hmm. would help us have a better mental health right jet self-care is very important <laughs> it's a must it it's is a must. a must yes and it's not being selfish yeah yes thank you very much jet and you're, you're welcome. listening to life expressions i'm your host charity Hineta eva until next time if you like this episode please don't hesitate to like it or download it and share it with your friends here on Life expressions. Bye.